How to create a dependent drop-down list in 45 seconds. Press Alt-AVV. Choose List. Select the options for the first drop-down list. In the cell below, press Alt-AVV. Choose List. Type in this formula. Notice how the second drop-down options are dependent on the first drop-down. Follow for daily tips. Noob. Pro. Type in this formula to extract the unique brands. Easy peasy. Don't do this to hide columns and rows. Instead, do this. Control 0 equals hide columns. Control 9 equals hide rows. Show this to your boss to impress them. How to freeze panes in 30 seconds. Click the cell below and to the right of everything you want frozen. Press Alt, W, F, F. Scroll to the right and notice the first three columns remain frozen. The same goes for the first two rows. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't filter data like this. Try this instead. Control Shift Down, F4. Control Shift Down, F4. Amazingness. Stop inserting blank rows like this. Instead, add a helper column. Insert sequential numbers for every row. Copy the numbers. Paste them below the data. Add filters with Control Shift L. Sort smallest to largest. Delete the helper column. That's it. Excel noobs do this. Excel pros do this. Alt equals. Bing bop boom. Don't do this in Excel? The data is all messy. Instead, do this. Copy the URL. Go back to Excel. Go to the Data tab. Click From Web. Paste the URL. Click OK. Find the right table. Click Load. Now you have a full 10-day forecast. Plus, it can be refreshed at any time. I caught my innie doing this. So I left them a note to do this instead. Select the data. Press F5. Go to Special. Click Blanks. Click OK. Press Control Minus. Choose Entire Row. Click OK. Mysterious and Important Work. I caught my innie doing this. So I left him a note to do this instead. Select the text. Enter the delimiter. Double click to copy down. Waffle party time. 
I can't believe my innie was doing this. So, I'm making this tutorial for him. Select the text. Enter the delimiter. Super easy to remember. Don't filter data like this. It's too slow. Instead, press Ctrl T to create a table. Then, go to the Insert tab. Select Slicer. Choose the columns to filter. Move the slicers over to your data. Tap Individual Slices to filter the data. Hold down Shift to select consecutive slices. Hold down Control to select non-consecutive slices. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop converting PDFs to Excel like this. This data is still messy. Instead, go to the Data tab. Click Get Data. Choose File. Click from PDF. Select and import your PDF. Select the table. Click Load. Like and follow for daily tips. Excel Noob. Excel Pro. Press Windows key plus period. Click the star. Click the rating cell to repeat the star that number of times. Double click. Like and follow for daily tips. Super Noob. Super Pro. Type in equals Google Finance. Select the company ticker. Press Enter. Double click. Type equals Google Finance again. Select the ticker. Type price. Enter 1-1-2025. One, one, Type today. Press Enter. Edit the formula. Wrap the formula with Sparkline. Press Enter. Double click. Now you have the current price and a YTD chart. Stop doing this. Start doing this instead. Drag down. Choose Fill Series. Dates work too. Drag down. Choose Fill Months. Like and follow for daily tips. Noob. Pro. Like and follow for daily tips. How to split text to columns in 30 seconds. Select the data. Go to the Data tab. Click Text to Columns. Choose Delimited. Click Comma. Choose General. Choose a destination. Click Finish. Like and follow for daily tips. How to create an organization chart in 45 seconds. Copy the list of names. Go to Insert tab. Click Smart Art. Choose Hierarchy. Change colors.
Delete the text. Paste the names from earlier. Tab each name to change the hierarchy. Upload pictures and you're done. I caught the intern inserting these images. So I showed him this. Go to the web. Copy the image address. Paste it in Excel. Then type in this function. Copy down as needed. Like and follow for daily tips. How to remove duplicates in 20 seconds. Click anywhere in the data. Go to the data tab. Click remove duplicates. Click select all. Boom. Don't do this. Instead, do this. Drag to copy over. Like and follow for daily tips. How to count numbers in 20 seconds. Type equals count. Select the entire column. Add numbers to the list and watch the formula auto update. Like and follow for daily tips. How to quickly count items in a list with Excel. Type equals counter. Select the entire column. Add new entries to the list and watch the formula auto update. Like and follow for daily tips. How to customize the quick access toolbar in 30 seconds. Right click the toolbar. Click customize quick access toolbar. Choose from a list of popular commands like new file and save as. Or choose all commands to find more niche tools like pivot table. Click any of the toolbar buttons to use them. Easy as that. Don't waste time manually adjusting column widths. Automate it with this instead. Right click. Go to view code. Type in this code. Start typing away and watch the columns auto fit. Don't enter dates like this anymore. Instead, select the date column. Go to the data tab. Click data validation. Add rule. Choose is valid date. Double click and select a date. Like and follow for daily tips. I found out my innie was doing this. So I left a note for them to do this instead. I caught my any checking boxes manually. So I left them directions to do this instead. Select the column. Press Alt N C B. Start checking away. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't hide columns and rows manually. Instead, select the column to hide. Control zero. Select the rows to hide. Control nine. Do this to unhide all? Control A. Alt H O U O to unhide rows. Alt H O U L to unhide columns. Like and follow for daily tips.